Welcome to Electron Line. A big topic in geometry is what we call the line segment. And how do, do we denote the line segment? Well, we define it with two points. And right here, we have the point A and B. And between it, we draw a line. And notice there's no line that continues past B in one direction or past A in the other direction. So therefore, we call line segment AB this segment right here. And notice there's no arrows in the line above the letters A and B, which denotes it's just a segment. So backing up a little bit on that, let's talk about what we call space. Space is, of course, the three-dimensional coordinate system, x, x, y, and z, in all directions. So space really represents all the points in space. So any point you can draw in the x, y, z uh, coordinate system, that is therefore part of space. Points that are collinear, or collinear points, are points that are on the same line, or sometimes on the lane, same line segment. But in this case, you can see the arrow, so therefore it's a line. So we can say that the set of points that lie on the same line are called collinear points. Coplanar points are points that lie on the same plane. Here you can see that A, B, C, D, and E are all points that are on the same plane, therefore they're called coplanar points. Here we can say that C lies between A and B on this particular line. So, so we say C lies between A and B, so that's a concept of between. We can also talk about the length of a segment. We talk about the length of a segment, we leave off that line on top of the, uh, the points that define the line segment. So the line segment is AB with a line over it. The length of that segment, AB, is simply the length of that segment without the little line on top of A and B. Coming over here, we talk about what we call congruent segments. And if we talk about congruent, we talk about the same. In the case of segments, we talk about the same length. So when we say that AB and CD are congruent, that means the line segment AB and the line segment CD are of the same length. The midpoint of a segment is the point exactly in the middle between the two endpoints. And so if A and B represent the two endpoints of the line segment AB, then C is the midpoint of AB if it's right in the middle. Same distance from C to A as it is from C to B. And finally, the bisector of a segment is either a line or a segment that cuts through the line segment right at the halfway point or the, in or the midpoint. So here P is the midpoint of the line segment A and B. Notice that the line M cuts right through that point or intersects right through that point. So we can say that M, the line M, bisects AB because it cuts it right in the middle. And then the line segment from N to P, so NP, which is line segment, also bisects the line segment AB. Notice uh, something that bisects a line or a line segment does not have to bisect it perpendicular to that segment. It can come in at any angle. As long as it goes to the point right in the middle, that's also called the midpoint. So now you have some more understanding of the terminology that we use for line segments. And there is the summary of all that.